a Doodlebug Adventure story. The Snippy Crab by Scott Jaster. It was a warm, sunny morning at the beach. Mommy and Daddy Turtle set up a blanket to protect their feet from the hot sand and an umbrella to protect their heads from the hot sun. Logan and Landon Turtles were excited to spend the day building sand castles and playing in the waves with their cousin Scooter, the sea turtle. Come on, Landon, let's go into the water and find cousin Scooter, said Logan. We have our hats and you have your floaty, we're ready to go. Landon noticed some eyeballs eyeballing them and wondered who or what that was. They went out to the shallow water and saw a pelican chattering away at something that was poking his feathers from under the water. Landon said, I bet that Scooter bothering that hilarious pelican. Scooter is so silly. Hey guys, it's about time you got here, said Scooter. You see that funny pelican up there? He thought I was a super dinosaur turtle sea monster. Ha! Logan and Scooter gave each other underwater high fives. But Landon was in his floaty, so it was a foot five for him, of course. The turtles decided to go check out the reef that was a little further out. They made sure that Mommy and Daddy knew where they were going. Landon did not want to go under the water because he saw a lionfish, and he remembered Logan telling him that they have poisonous pokey things. He also remembered Logan telling him that there were all sorts of other sea creatures looking at them underwater. So he decided it was best to just peek down there and keep his distance. The turtles had fun exploring all the nooks and crannies of the reef. They always loved the many things to look at down there. Landon wanted to build a sandcastle while they were at the beach. So he asked Logan to teach him all about it. They went ashore and took off running back to the family umbrella base. Wait for me, guys. It's hard to run with my little legs in this sand. And it's hot and little rocks are bothering my feet, said Landon. Logan replied, You can do it, Landon. Just be tough and try to run fast so you don't stand in the hot sand for too long. The turtles ran fast excited to get started on their sandcastle project. Logan decided to draw a diagram for Landon to show all the parts of the castle so they could build it to scale and with the correct components. Logan and Scooter explained the main parts and pointed them out to Landon so he would be ready. Landon asked, Can we put sharks in the moat? That way we can be safe if sneaky little bugs try to attack us. As they built their sandcastle, they made sure to work according to their plan. They each worked on different parts of the castle so they could work together efficiently. Again, Landon noticed a creature looking at them while they were working, and he recognized the same eyeballs from this morning. Why is that guy looking at us? We better make this moat bigger in case he tries to invade, thought Landon. They were almost done working on the sandcastle, and the mysterious creature continued to watch them with sneaky eyes from the cover of some tall beach grass. Doodle the ladybug looked around nervously because he could feel somebody watching them. Was it a duck? Was it a dragon? Was it a crazy bug with crazy eyes and crazy legs to run at them crazily? Doodle stayed close to Logan in case he needed to jump into the sand bucket for safety. The sandcastle was built, and they were very proud of it. Suddenly, a super fast crab came running at them. Landon yelled, What in the daggum diddly squat is that? I think that's the crazy crab that's been looking at me all day. The crab had a fierce pirate crab flag that he planned on staking inside the castle after his plot to invade and take over was complete. He was hoping there was a throne room for him to sit in to rule his new kingdom. The crab quickly took over the castle, planted his flag and hid inside, waiting to defend his new pillaged 
plot of land. Landon was going to stick his hand inside. But Logan reminded him to never, ever put your hands in places when you don't know what's in there. Landon decided to get a stick to test out the situation. He poked the stick inside the doorway, and a large crab claw popped out and snapped a twig. A gruff voice from behind the sandy castle wall said, Ha ha! I claim this castle in the name of Snippy Crab! Mine! Get, get, get! The crab stood in front of the castle, looking fierce. I'm Snippy Crab, and I takes what I wants, so deal with that. Ha <laughs> ha! Prepare for battle! Logan noticed the way Mr. Snippy Crab's eyeballs were positioned, and that one claw was much bigger than the other, and said, Cool! That's a fiddler crab, Landon! Dag on, that guy has some angry eyes. Why is he so ornery? Don't let him snip you! Logan asked, Hey, Mr. Crab, why did you take our castle? We can share, you know. And by the way, that is one awesome super claw you have there. Snippy Crab paused and blinked blinked. Really? He said thoughtfully. You would share with an ornery crab like me? And yes, my claw is super awesome. However, it doesn't work well when I try to make my own sand castles. The crab expected a fierce battle. He was surprised at how nice these turtles were and thought about it. Hmm, I suppose I should not have taken your castle. We can live here together if you think we can be friends. The turtles laughed. No, no, Mr. Crab. We're too big to live there, but we can certainly be friends. We like to build things. So maybe we can build little sand houses for you and your friends, offered Logan. The crab thought that would be fun, so he invited his other crab buddies to help with anything they could do with their little crab bodies. With everybody working together, they built a whole crab town and had fun with their new friends for the rest of the day. Doodle was not so nervous anymore, and he had fun with his new crab friends too. The big summer sun was setting lower and lower in the sky, and the boys knew it was almost time to go home. Logan and Landon waved goodbye to Scooter and their new fiddler crab friends. It's getting dark, so we need to head back to Mommy and Daddy and help clean up before we leave the beach. We'll come see you again soon and have more adventures, collect more seashells, and build more sand castles. The sun was nearly completely under the horizon. What a nice day at the beach everyone had. The crabs were safe in their new sand village. Noodle decided he wanted to get one last look at the nice sunset before heading home. All the little beach creatures were in their beds to get rested for another fun day tomorrow.